So what we'll be aiming to do here is control some space, see what they have, poke it out, peek from up above. Don't waste our HP or our matrix for no reason. We can look. We need to know what we're playing against. So I just lost a little HP. We see Widow Sigma as expected and a Bastion. So nice pick by our Widowmaker to give us sort of an advantage. We can ask for healing to move up, get an open. What we can do against the Sigma matchup is you flash her right click. And every time he shoots, if you get the timing right, he'll never get any value. And it takes ages for you to run out. Oh, wait, he just used the shift for no reason, and he's in the open. Go just sort of rough him out the way. It should take him a while to build anything. It could be very annoying. Especially if you like cooldown. If you consider you have to go to him, through him, through the enemy team. I mean, man is on my line of sight. We can go. Why do you guys think that we can go? We can move him as well. Because he used the shifter there. And he was a low HP for a little second, for a millisecond. And he's not low HP for a long time, right? He's got two healers next to him. We're going to be helping him out. We're going to be supporting him, make sure he's okay. And I think it's what a lot of people miss on every role. I played slow, I played patient, I fell back. Nice pick by my widow again. Gonna save her life here. She gets rested up again. You waste another cooldown. And these windows over two here are very small because they got healers next to them. They got teammates to save them. And so if I just make that decision of, I think this is my timing, this is what I'm waiting for, this is their weakness for them to keep up with the way. This is their sort of weakest point. My sent pop goes again. I'm just gonna back away. Yeah, you can see how they line up. And we got rewarded, it worked, right? I saved my micro missiles, so I had my full burst damage for that small window of opportunity. And that's why I think a lot of people get it twisted. They waste their cooldowns. Like if I use my micro missiles, what does it do? Oh, maybe, maybe something, maybe nothing, right? But I'm gonna look for a weak target. My Zen just died. I could ill in the mercy because they're not there yet, because we're outnumbered. It's probably lost. There's no way to help her or save her. I'm just gonna eat. I think we'll be coming up here. We're gonna get my Ad out of there. I didn't save her, which is completely on me. That's all good. Yeah, we lost a couple of teammates. Let's move out the way again. We're a bit in the open. That's why I lost so much of my HP there, which is completely on me. Oh god, I could have died there as well. Let's move away. So if I approach from this situation, the opposite, the furthest point possible for Diva, bad. We all know, close range hero. She uses her grapple, which is pretty big to me, but they still have their turrets. Wait, but he's way too close to me now. He has to like support. I'm not doing anything. Let me move in below him. He'll drop down here. Which means we can sit on him. And I miss the squish. Let's break up the lamp and then finish up our target who overextended into us. All because we gave space. My Zen is popping off. Beautiful play by him. He killed both supports and a Valkyrie Mercy. Because we gave them the distance, we gave them the space. We waited for our team. We got our HP. The Bastion overextended into us because it was clear that, well, his mercy wasn't there and somebody has to be on cart. So because of that, we can just say, okay, I'm going to all in on you. Don't, like this, is she a kill? She's half HP. You know what? Yes. Why? Because Bat can't kill you in the midair. It's not something that we can do. And we're going to get healed up to full and now we can go in. And guess what? I have my marker with us. So, she's an easy kill. And they're coming into us, and they're making the plays, and they're making the mistakes. Let's farm up a bold little. Again, I walk into the open, get shot by soldier, because I'm entering that open space. Taking that risk. Widows on high ground. We know where they are. We know what direction they're coming from. We don't want to approach them from their direction. Let's pull the bold little. I'm working for my Zen here on the Widow. If I don't make noise, maybe they'll forget about me. Oh! Look! That's a win of opportunity. But I'm Diva, so I can fly back up. I'll wait for the Mercy, but I'm going to fly back up. Come back down here. We're C9ing, but I'm gonna help my team. We got the soldier. My junk is frontlining, which means he's probably pretty safe. It looked like we're in control and winning. So I felt comfortable dropping down and helping. Now what is gonna come through high ground again? I'm gonna hold my ground. I'm not holding here, letting him see me. I don't wanna lose HP like that. I want her to feel confident, comfortable that she can walk up. So I'm gonna sit at a corner, wait and look. Let them present me with information like balls on cards. I hear what is on high ground. He's down up below. Like maybe she'll walk up to me. Enemy That'd be the great, here, wouldn't it? What is below me? Oh, I might come early. I'm fighting my demons. Not very good play by me. Yeah, very bad play. If I save my micro missiles until I you know verified that it was her, she was there, then I'm pretty sure that I could have killed her. But wait, she would just went up. Can't do that. I'm gonna put this on the edge, drop down, we're gonna go Oh! That way. Soldier's low, we can kill him. 
You know, on a mercy deck, I should seem to be the most out of position there. Two people. I don't like this numbers. I'm going to go back fast. I was going to fly up, but I want to save my Zen. Grab mini. Widow can grab up. I was, I'm my opinion, she made a mistake. Which bush? You can hear them. Soldier's here. He's coming here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Could we have gotten that kill? Maybe, because they were resing. When I asked for healing before I did anything. Wait, you came up again? Like, she just came and build out. So weird, no? Don't get stuck. <laughs> Good job, Ethan. Oh, I got woken up. I remember, she doesn't really have to sleep anymore, so... She's pretty comfortable all inning. I can't kill Mercy while she's balking. She has too much regen. But... The balk ran out. So, so far, so good. We went over a lot of concepts. You know, we're going as the game that goes. So I'd love to break them down into a bit more detail for why we do certain things. So you can see clearly here that I am not forcing. Look, did I force it to grab up here? Would you agree that's a crazy thing to do? Huh? Yeah, I agree it's a crazy thing to do. Yeah, because I have my cooldowns, because I'm not wasting them, because I'm not in the open, I'm not forced to matrix. I'm not panicking using micro missiles. I've identified you cannot do that. You don't have the support. I'm stronger. Ball goes past me. I can have one v one break. Maybe. Here comes the boot. Let's go top right. He's gonna have sleep dart. Let's break line of sight here. There's a sleep dart. Three, two, one. Up we go. I'm going to Widow. Widow's down here. She was low down last time. Am I right or wrong? Yep, that was her. Uh, and we might be seeing anything here, so. And I just turned around on her. Here's a, here's a sleep dart. There's my rematch. Maybe push it out. Then I got the touch. Don't you worry, buddy. Okay, unfortunately he died. You know, if I'm remaking, there's only so much I can do, but it's good. You should get more gameplay, right? Let's get go like, move up my concepts. I'm gonna get my mega here, move out the way, come back, fall back, we lost. It is what it is. Well done to the enemy team. I'm sure there's a lot of things that I could have done differently or more efficiently or better. Maybe I didn't drop down, right? Because the Anna used sleep dart, but that's a hindsight analysis, which let's not go too hard on the hindsight analysis. Like, obviously I should not have dropped down, but... I had full matrix. I thought she'd be smart enough to know, and I could hold it. If I had eaten that, I could have gone on Anna straight away, snowballed it. I like this kind of back and forth, right? So that widow's popping off. The team's doing a lot. Eisen's going hard. So it's a great game of just showing some fundamentals here. So I think again, he's out of position. Sleep has gone. Full slamming. So they're down a bunch of stuff. Let me come behind them. Big's looking at me. Soldiers alone. I see the ball. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna. Well, I was gonna hope that the soldier came up here for the seconds. Oh god. Not a lot of value here. <laughs> it seems that, believe it or not, that ball has a lot of HP and it's hard to catch. He doesn't have a hedge ball, and my soldier did flank. That is what I said I wanted him to go. Let's go. He's remarking myself. He's dead already. He's going end up on the high ground. I don't want to get hit by these mines. He's gonna always end That's why he's dead out. Jump on our head. Got a little melee to make the kind of easier. Come on, Anna. She's gonna panic sleep because she's reloading and come back. So as you learn over time, player behavior, habits. Now, coming back running, Ethan. Why did you feel so comfortable to leave your backline? You know, why did I? Okay. Remember, which one's easier to kill? Yes, actually, he is. I'm not gonna micro missile because I could turn around. Micro missile soldier just straight away. Then comes with a flank bomb. Ethan, why did you feel comfortable? You know, leaving. Your backline. Why did you feel comfortable? And for those who want to appealing means, it's like if something gets dove or your teammate gets dove, you're there with the matrix, your body blocking, you're you're peeling them from the dive. You're taking the diver and peeling them away, letting them survive. When I approach from in front of them, they will almost always expect it. And if you do, is you prepared for it to be a lot more difficult? Which is why high grounds are broken. They work exactly like a corner does. But they give you a lot more other a lot more benefits. The first point, honestly, will be pretty difficult. We're going deathless so far, which is great. Really happy with that. Trying to take minimal damage. Let's eat the orb. You know, like, I'm, I'm fine with taking a little poke. But, you know, it's the night. You know? Oh, we've got a beautiful picker. Do they have mercy? No, they don't. So I don't have to panic it. But he's just a cooldown. I was kind of... Oh my god, my choke is insane. He does go in the that. Look, she's too close then. Oh, beautiful by my team. Because they have so many picks. I tried to stop shooting that to get more movement speed to walk out the way. You know, I feel comfortable walking in, going crazy and doing something to them. So watch this. More just faded up here. Oh. 
<laughs> All right, don't watch this. Cut, cut it. Clip it. Get it out, okay? I thought that the widow would be in the window. So we just come there and boop. Definitely didn't expect to see my widow in the window. But I was... <laughs> That was on me, that was on me. That was, that, was silly. that was silly. So we know the ball back there, we just saw, we got that information. I'm gonna leave the ball because I feel co that comfortable that he cannot kill me or kill my teammates. That sense seems squishy and alone. You know, I can go from the staircase here, more faded, which means if she's here, I can kill her. Wait. But she just faded. Wow. Look, my commercial is a 1 2, he's gonna be over here. I don't, I don't wanna let him kick me. So I didn't boost her all the way. Why did I not boost her all the way? Because she would get into my line of sight before my boosters would end and I'm 81 HP. So if I can boost her out to get more distance, then cancel the boosters 180 eat. She can't de-mech me. Let's move him off the cart here. And keep on pushing. 31-0. Great first game. You know. This is the nice thing about doing it off stream. I can play as many games as I feel comfortable, as much as I can help. This is the first game. So... You can get a lot of good examples or good value here. Again, you are too close to me. You shouldn't be there. But he has the Ana behind him. Good fundamentals. You know, you want to try and be consistent. Let me roll up to the side of the ball. Be a little tank. Clear him of the objective. Because that's at the end of the day the goal. You have to get space. Oh, well, what's space? It's this. Look. I just went through space. I did that. That's space I just maneuvered through. Right? This thing is blocking my space. My line of sights. Those things. It's very simple. It's also very complicated in a way. Win like this. Like, watch this. Like, most of you are always like, oh, give a bomb in the open. No, not here. Okay. I need them to walk into this middle of the open room, be as far away from the corner as possible. And then I can bomb them. If I bomb now, she can just go around that corner. Although, would it be funny if I did this? Yeah, it would. Not for that, no. But for... <laughs> anyway, this game's over. We've broken them down. A clean load of 37-0. Really proud of my team. I think we showed great fundamentals. Good stats. My Ana trusted me. 